Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. only made one visit to Fort Worth in 1959. It was a quick trip, but it left a lasting impact. As we reflect on his life and legacy, our Caroline Vandergriff is giving us a tour of some of the places he spent in Cowtown. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s trip to Fort Worth in October 1959 isn't very well documented because he wasn't entirely welcome. But in spite of some anger and hate and even a bomb threat, he gave a speech at the Old Majestic Theater downtown. Its title, A Great Time to Be Alive. 1959 was still a very segregated place in Fort Worth. When Dr. King landed at Love Field, his hosts immediately brought him to the Baker Funeral Home on Fort Worth's south side. It was a safe place where they could map out the pastor's day. You know, he had to be secretive. He had to, you know, lay low. The 30-year-old was touring the country to promote equality. While in town, he got barbecue with a friend and attended a reception at a TCU professor's home. But Dr. King wasn't allowed to stay in any of the downtown hotels. So he spent the night in a south side home here uh, from someone who had met him before and who knew him. But that's the way it was in those days. The only real evidence of his trip, a few photos taken by Calvin Littlejohn, who documented the black community in Fort Worth for more than 50 years. Some of the top leaders, African-American leaders in this town showed up for him. They were not afraid. They showed up for him, supported him. So it was a remarkable time for Fort Worth. 400 people came to hear the civil rights leader speak at what was then the Majestic Theater, which was later torn down to make room for the convention center. The venue was integrated for the very first time. Blacks were able to go through the front door of that theater and not have to sit in the balcony. There's a historical marker on Main Street commemorating King's visit. It was just so fulfilling to be able to go to some of those spots and be able to say, oh, wow, I'm, I'm you know, in the, in the presence of Dr. King's footsteps. Lauren Phillips spent MLK Day a few years ago on a bike tour of the places he visited. She encourages others to take the journey to reflect on Dr. King's enduring legacy. The black history here is strong. It runs deep, and I just want to continue to share the story with others. In Fort Worth, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.